fellow comic enthusiasts, welcome back to HC Comics, your gateway to the colorful and captivating world of comics. Today, we're embarking on the next exciting chapter of this comic series together, wishing you all some relaxing moments as we dive in to HC Comics Adventure, returning to the main developments of the story. In this episode, we start with the scene. Teenage Mercenary, Episode 9 to Episode 12. Head of Department Cha, after being knocked out by the high school boy and also the male lead, called to inform the councilman and his wife that that boy is very strong and doesn't seem like a normal high school student. He's there already? Jesus, now I'm really curious who this kid actually is. Lean, but it doesn't change the fact that a goddamn kid beat me up. Teenage Mercenary 9 You're the one who did this to my kids. It's you? Contain yourself. Excuse me? How did you get into my office? Past the men you had blocking the entrance. Did this boy really manage to beat Mr. Cha and all of my security detail? But more than that, your children may have meddled with the wrong person. Your children may have meddled with the wrong person. How did he know where to find me? Don't give us that attitude. You think you can get away with anything? Turn just because you can beat up a couple kids? I'll teach you some proper manners. I'm reporting you for assaulting my kids and our security, as well as breaking and entering this office. Mom's right. He might be good at fighting, but that won't matter if the police are involved. What could he possibly do? I'll call the police right now. Oh, or better yet, the district attorney. You have no idea who you're dealing with, boy. I have a pretty good idea, actually. Your husband is a second-term assembly member now running for office. And that somehow didn't stop you? Of course a kid like you won't know what that means in the real world. Game's over. It's me, Prosecutor Choi. We need to speak with you at my husband's off. I'm so sorry, Hu I Jin. Please forgive me. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You shouldn't have screwed up in the first place. Fuck, slapping her hurts my hand more than her. Just crush her so she never gets in our way again. Please, don't. I'll do better. $180? What the fuck would I want with this chump change? I tried to save all my wages, but I only work part-time. Then get a better paying job, bitch. Go steal OR prostitute yourself. Just get main $500 by the end of the week. Ma'am. I'm gonna call you back. But how did you get those? Daddy, I had a good reason for doing. Shut your mouth, Hu I Jin. I have files involving Ji I Su Kim as well. For some reason, your two children keep videos of their conquests. Some clips show them beating up kids at school OR in alleys. As well as dozens of clips of them extorting money and valuables from their victims. The latest clip shows my sister getting assaulted by a group of girls at a karaoke. Don't you dare threaten us. You think you can get away with this? I wasn't the one who started all this. And this is hardly a threat compared to hiring a bunch of gangsters to assault me. I have that recorded as well. Let me get this straight. You did this to GISU and Huai Jin because they assaulted your sister first. As parents, you will take your children's side at all costs. And as a brother, I'll do whatever it takes to protect my sister. All right, we'll pay for her treatment and offer a hefty settlement to make amends. That won't be necessary. What? Then what is it that you want? Would you like for my kids to apologize to your sister? Hell no, I'd rather bite my tongue and bleed to death. That won't be necessary either. An apology won't bring back the time she had to spend in pain. Besides, they wouldn't really mean it. I'd like for my sister to never have to see Ji I Su Luar Hu I Jin Kim ever again. What? What the hell is he even saying? All right, I will have them transferred. Better yet, I'll send them abroad. Dad, honey, quiet down, both of you. Would that be enough to satisfy you? I'd like for them to be gone tomorrow. I'll let the school know. Hold on, since I've agreed to your demands, I'd like to get the originals of all the videos you found. How can those deadly eyes belong to a child as young as my own son? You must have taken me for some kind of an idiot, sir. It's my mistake. I, Jin, are you all right? Did they hurt you? No. They seemed like dangerous people. They just stopped by to talk. Something about them didn't feel right. Grandpa and I were so worried. You should just worry about getting better. How are you feeling? Oh, much better. Don't worry. You'll never have to fall down the stairs again. I got rid of it all. You don't have to walk me to class now. I'm basically fine now. All right. See you later. See you. I would have stayed home longer if I Jen and Grandpa weren't worried. Did you hear? Mr. Lee said Hu I Jin won't be coming to school anymore. What are you talking about? She and her brother are both going to study abroad. Holy shit. Does that mean we don't have to see her again? 
Things will finally feel normal around here. Who I Jin is moving abroad? Don't worry, you'll never have to fall down the stairs again. I got rid of it all. He knew about it, I Jin. What do I even say? See you later. See you. Teenage Mercenary 10. Is it true that Hu I Jin moving overseas? I was so shocked when I first heard. But why, all of a sudden? She never said anything. Didn't you see her today? She wasn't at school today, and neither was Ji Su Kim. Then he's going to? What the? Aren't you gonna say anything, I Yi On? I asked you if Hu I Jin is seriously moving overseas. You're in the same class, aren't you? Yeah, it looks like it's real. Our teacher announced it to the class today. What the hell is going on? Did you try calling her? Yeah, but she won't pick up. She won't read any of my texts, either. Then I guess it's true. But why now? Hu I Jin I haven't been able to reach her since that text. That's the last thing Hu I Jin said. But then, her moving doesn't have anything to do with him, does it? It'll be a bummer to lose Hu I Jin, though. I know, of course not. Her parents wouldn't let that happen. She's a bit of a pain in the ass, but she's also the fattest wallet we know. What? Hu I Jin? Fuck this shit, seriously. I barely snuck myself out. Are you really moving overseas? What happened? Yeah, it all just sort of happened. But I'll be back after one semester. Just spend a semester there and I'll fix everything by the time you get back. You promise? Sure, we can't have those videos out for the world to see. A semester? What's the point of that? That's just a long vacation at best. You're telling me, and why now, this sudden? Isn't G.I. Sue going to? It's really a family matter and you don't need to know. I can't let them know it's all because of that bastard. Anyway, how did it go with that bitch and her brother? I couldn't get a hold of G.I. Su or any of his doofuses. G.I. Su would kill me if I tell them they all got beat up by one dude. Don't ask, I'm sure they handled it. All this humiliation for that goddamn bastard. And I can't even begin to think about how much that bitch will gloat. Fuck, I think we should do one more number on Dayan. Again? But, who I Jin? Imagine how cocky she'll be once I'm gone from school. Just thinking about it makes me sick. I may as well finish the job before I have to leave Korea. Who I Jin? Her grandpa's a security guard somewhere. So I'm gonna have my mom get him fired, too. That'll teach that fucking bitch not to mess with someone like me. Now I'm really glad that I came. What? I Jin Yu? Who's that? But I know you're. I Jin Yu. That's the shuttle's older brother, isn't it? Why would he come here? I thought I'd come and see what kind of fun you're getting into. Looks like everyone from the video is here today. Video? What the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. This is the same place where you filmed Da Yan, isn't it? Wait, was he waiting for us to meet? Well, why isn't anyone singing? You all like to scream along to loud music, don't you? Why haven't I seen Hu I Jin around? She stepped out to say bye to her friends. She did what? She should have stayed put until we got her on that plane. Sir, what is it? I think you should see this, sir. It's just outrageous. And they filmed themselves C-O-M-I-T-T-I-N-G these heinous acts? Yes, there are dozens of videos depicting such violence. And we could suspect plenty more incidents that occurred without any record. Civic groups and politicians alike are proposing a special bill in order to bring the culprits to justice. It can't be. The nation is especially appalled by the identity of the culprits, revealed as the children of candidate in B. Kim. What? Hey, kid. What did you do that for? I thought you cut a deal with Mr. Kim. A deal? I had to act quick and under the radar to protect my identity. This is what you get for getting in my way, bitch. Not to mention I was up against a powerful politician. What a determined little bitch. She hasn't screamed once. Beat it out of her then. I knew it had to be done quietly. Put on some music so they won't hear us outside. I thought it'd be over if I could just get them out of Da Yan's way. I'm petty. That's your excuse? Do you really think he'll let you get away with this? I'm pretty sure I'll be the last thing on his mind. On top of this shocking information. Recent evidence has revealed multiple accounts of Inbi Kim's involvement in money laundering, bribery, and election fraud. The evidence is so conclusive that even his fellow party members are voicing their support for a strict investigation. That's right, it appears they're trying to cut off ties in order to prevent any damage to their party. So, you somehow managed to find my data on HIM, didn't you? I kept that data as a safety net in case things ever went south. Who are you, really? Just an average teenager. Ah, uh, not a damn thing that's average about you, kid. Teenage Mercenary Life. Home by myself about me and go and hang out. Hang out? How would I do that? Hey, you're early again. I Jin, are you busy today? Today? Oh, right. You walk home with your little sister, don't you? Not today. I'm free. Really? Then you want to hang out after school? Sure. Hey, I Jin Yu. 
We heard the news. So you're the reason why Ji Su Kim was moving abroad. Although now he won't be leaving the country anytime soon. Yeah, that whole family's so screwed. I think you heard wrong. Don't be modest, bro. I heard you jumped Ji Su and his goons at their hideout a couple days ago. We all know that you slaughtered them all by yourself. Everyone saying that he was too humiliated to come back to school. Serves him right for strutting around like he owned the goddamn place. How bad did you beat him to make him want to leave the country? I guess Ai Jin is really good at fighting. So, what happened that day in homeroom wasn't a fluke. Now that we'll never have to see that bastard ever again. Let's go and celebrate after school today. Lean. Hell yeah. You've been here for days now and we still haven't hung out yet. You don't know this area yet, right? Sorry, but I already have plans today. Plans? For what? I'm gonna hang out with Yan Chan. Oh, really? Then we should just join you guys. Of course we should. Sure. Okay, then we'll catch you later. Are you sure about this? Yeah, are you sure about this? Alright, quiet down. Huh? There. You know them? Who doesn't? That's Yo Na Sin. And the guy next to her is So Ju Ko. I heard he's always been with her since they were little. People say he's being trained as her assistant and bodyguard. No need for introductions, since most of you know who they are. They've been in the US studying for the past two years. And will be joining our class starting from today. Shit. First comes Ai Jin, and now So Ju Ko is back. Guess I'll just stay low until graduation. And I thought Ji Su was the final boss. I was wondering who the two extra desks were for. It was for those two. Yo Na Sin oh, looks prettier than I remember. <laughs> Who's that? A celebrity? I'm not sure. He wasn't in the evaluation report. I received a week ago. Huh, really? I'll check again. What? Did he just blow me? I Jin, is there any place you want to go to later? No, I'll go wherever you want. How about, a game room? Game room? Yeah, a place nearby just upgraded all their PCs. It's nice. We'll begin today's portion of your practical life training program. There's one thing that every Korean teenager must know, and that would be the gaming room. What is it called? The gaming room, sir. Affirmative. Gaming rooms allow for anyone to use one of their many personal computers for a certain fee. Students and adults alike can use these computers. What do they do there? That's a good question. Some users will use the internet or watch online videos, but most people are playing games. In the case of your average high school student, over 90% of them will be playing some kind of computer game. Over 90%. Let's begin with an introduction to some of the most common games. Well, there goes the game. It's the Nap's fault, not mine. I knew I could rely on the Major's intel. We'll have some ramen at the game room and maybe so day Konka. Kawinka? Yes, that was also in the Major's brief. High schoolers frequent coin karaoke, also known as C-O-I-N-K-A. What is it called? Coin karaoke, sir. That's right. This establishment allows for sing-alongs with mere coins. You should prepare a few songs to sing in case you go. I'll send you a list of songs popular with kids your age for you to learn. Yes, sir. He looks so serious. <laughs> His name is Ai Jin Yu and he transferred a few days ago. He's 18 years old and he's also Da Yan Yu's older brother. Da Yan Yu, he's Da Yan's brother, but I thought her grandpa was her only family. That's right, she's been living with her paternal grandfather since her parents and brother died in a plane crash. But, he's her B-R-O-T-H-E-R-P. It's hard to believe that her dead brother suddenly came back to life. And right before our return to school, we need to dig a little deeper into this Ai Jin Yu character. LOL Bandwagon. Welcome aboard gentlemen, this bus will be driven by Yan Han the Challenger. Thanks for the ride, it's an honor, sir. I never thought Yan Chan would be a Challenger man, never met one before IRL. Same, I thought Challengers were myths lol. Teenage Mercenary 12. Holy shit, Yan Chan just carried US through the whole game. And he cleared all of iJin's shit. This is your Smurf account, isn't it? Yeah, I do have a separate main character. Which tier is your main? Diamond? Master? Maybe you should go get our challenger a drink. I can get you some snacks if you're hungry, too. Ai Jin you really need to up your game dude, 
You shit yourself all over the map. And poor Yan Chan had to clean up after you man. That's okay, Ai Jin hasn't played much so it's totally understandable. There you are. Hey, what are you doing out? We ran out of garbage bags. And I also picked up some snacks. I'll carry it. That's okay, it's not heavy at all. Were you hanging out with your friends? Yeah. So, he already made friends. I'm glad people didn't avoid him because of that fight. Where'd you guys go? Game room. Oh, really? I thought he'd have slightly different interests since he lived overseas for so long. So, how are you? How's school, I mean? Don't worry, I'm okay. School hasn't been this fun in years. That's good. Did you have dinner yet? I guess you probably ate with your friends. Yeah, they sold all kinds of food at the game room. What about you? Not yet. I'm waiting for Grandpa to get home so we can eat together. He'll be home soon. Then, can I eat with you too? But I thought you ate already. Just a little, and now I'm hungry again. Goodness, you're becoming quite the chef, Da Yan. It's just some fried eggs and ham, Grandpa, and leftover soup from yesterday. Yeah, but you made that soup too. Isn't it good, Ai Jin? See, Ai Jin agrees. It really is, Grandpa. Hello, Major Kong. I told you to just call me bro, Ai Jin. How are you? Good. How's life? Anything exciting happen at school? What is it? Tell me right now. Did you kill someone? Sir, did Ai Jin already kill someone? What will we do, sir? I ran into some confrontation, but it was quickly resolved. Is that right? And there's nothing I can do for you? Just say the word and we'll be there, Ai Jin. It's fine now. There's nothing for you all to worry about. That's good to hear, but don't forget that we're always here for you. You got that? Yes, sir. I guess Ai Jin isn't here yet. But before he gets here, I have to say that he's, he's really bad at games. Seriously, G-E-A-N-C-E, -E, just out of curiosity though, who do you think would win if Ai Jin and Soju Ko got into a fight? Ai Jin is good, but there's no way he'd be a match for Soju Ko. Soju's been training in combat since he was just a kid. One's a pro and the other's an amateur. You're right, Soju Ko is one tough motherfucker. Is it true that Soju Ko fought against 20 dudes and won? No, man, it was 30, 30 guys? When a group of street thugs were harassing Yona Sin, he just went and wiped them out. It started at 10 guys and they kept coming, but even 30 guys wasn't enough to stop Soju. He walked off without a scratch, while 30 dudes were left unconscious on the street. Wow, then what about him catching those kidnappers who got Yona? I heard the people behind it were all retired soldiers. That one's probably true too. In any case, Ai Jin doesn't stand a chance against Soju Ko. He's just on a whole other level. What are you? I don't understand what you're trying to ask me. You don't? I'm asking why you're lying about your identity to be here. I heard you had a hand in Ji Su and Hu Ai Jin Kim moving away. We did have a disagreement, but I had nothing to do with them moving. Is that so? Then what about this? I contacted the school you supposedly attended overseas, and they never heard of a student like you. Yo na. So, that wraps up this chapter, folks. I'm concluding the video right here. Stay tuned for the thrilling developments in the next episode. And don't forget to show your support with a like and subscribe, fueling my motivation to bring you even more captivating comic chapters in the future. Until next time, happy reading.